Ladies and gentlemen, game five as we resume here in our matchup between Empire Cause and Mao's Hasuabs. I'm DJ Wee, joined by Husky. Husky, it's been great so far. I hope we get some more awesome games here to end off the third and fourth place match and take us into tomorrow's matches, the finals with Day 9 and Chill. That is absolutely awesome. Do not miss out on that, guys. So far in this game, though, we've seen some SCBs being built by our Blue Terran player down in the bottom left side. He is uh, currently now tied. Uh, if, if you would have told me this about 45 minutes ago, I would have a hard time believing it just because Hasuabs had a difficult time. But it is now tied 2-2, and his opponent going forward is now Hasuabs, who has got to be feeling incredible after that last game. He was just on it, Wheat. Every time there was a drop, every time there was just anything, he was there. He had an answer for it and really took minimal damage compared to those first games we saw. Yeah, I mean, Kaz came out of that corner just throwing haymakers like crazy. <laughs> the first and second game were decisively going to Kaz. Of course, that second game, I felt like we saw Hasuabs really sort of like play how we expected him to play. And as we'd mentioned, we thought that game was pretty close. But then being down 2-0 and just flipping the script and coming back and putting your opponent, you know, basically saying, hey, you know that awesome advantage you had being two games up? Yeah, we're back to square one. And now you can almost say, let's just pretend like the last four games didn't happen and let's say we're playing a best of three again. And sometimes that's kind of how you have to approach it to go, okay, I'm not going to worry about the results of last game. I've been doing well the last two. I'm going to play. I, I, I know my opponent. I know what he's throwing at me in these series. So I'm just going to go with what I know. Yeah, and I, I'm curious to see if uh, Kaz, the thing that he knows, is doing early aggression. I think we've seen some level of success with that. And then when Hasuobs is able just to sit back, get the units he wants, kind of think about it for a second in his mind without having tons of pressure right out the gate of the first 10 minutes, that's when we've really seen him shine. So Kaz may have to change up his play just a little bit, try and put on that pressure. You can see he does have a tech lab on the way right now. He is scouting around with that Marine inside of his main base, wants to make sure he's not going to lose to any sort of proxy as that probe had got there fairly quickly. Wants to make sure there's nothing crazy, go nothing crazy going on, no cannons or anything like that. And so I think I would expect to see a fairly safe opener from both players here. Kaz is going to be getting out that Reaper now. This is completely standard in TVP these days of the metagame is just get out a Reaper after your first Marine or two and use that to not only grab any maps that have two watchtowers, you can you know, easily hop into those and get vision of the map, but also scout around your opponent's base and uh, that allows you, considering the rush distances are fairly long, uh, it gives you time to react to what's coming your way. Yeah, I mean, especially on this map, with just the way that the cliffs are, are are set up and what you can do in the back, it's you know, it's just really kind of a perfect, uh, perfect uh, map for a Reaper to go out and play on. So, cause you know, he can go in, he can go to that middle expansion in the back and jump up and down to the cliffs by the rocks. A lot of times, your army isn't really in there, out there early game, and we are going to see him try to take out this probe in the middle. Uh, as he is going to uh, go after it as best as he can here. He's going to actually chase it back into his base. So he kind of gives up the Reaper. Of course, uh, a lot of players know that Kaz likes to do that anyway. Uh, but he does manage to kill the probe before he makes it inside Kaz's base. That probe did reveal a lot, though. Even though it may not look like he scouted out that much, he saw the Marine was positioned on the second ramp, and he saw that there was a Reaper, didn't see any other units, and so it, I think that Hasuzov's kind of goes through senses are tingling and realizes, you know, he's probably going for an expansion. I could probably take it. The Reaper has got to get taken out here, it looks like, by the Stalker. Yes, perfect positioning and micro there by Hasuzov's. And again, Wheat, I feel like if Hasuzov's just holds off the early harassment just a little bit, that's when he's like, oh, I actually have a major chance of winning this. Seems like he goes into overdrive, and uh, that's exactly what he did. Held off that Reaper without, it didn't even scout his base. So he's got to be feeling good, man, af after that. Yeah, I, I agree, and you know, this is very similar to when he saw those uh, medevacs take off on Zelnaga and was able to position those stalkers there quickly. You know, you get that information, like, on the other side of the map, and then you can adjust and be ready to, to, you know, for whatever information you gathered later on. In that case, he knew the Reaper was out. He knew the popular place was the back rocks for it to come up. He had that one uh, one stalker there and took care of it. If that Reaper would have not gotten spotted by that first probe and made it in there, probably could have gotten a couple of probe kills. You know, would have been that big of a deal. 
uh, you know, maybe not that big of a deal, but the Reaper would have paid for himself, and of course he would have distracted his opponent just a little bit. So some great reads by Hasuabs, and I have to agree, Husky, the times where we've seen him stop causes attempt to throw him off, to change up his timings, to kill those workers, uh, and he has stopped them cold. He has gone on to win the game. And Hasuhab just now, he, he kind of reminds me of a Zerg player burrowing Zerglings. We've seen this multiple times at that third base, our potential third base of Kaz. He has a pylon already set up there. Now that can be a bit of a risk if your opponent spots it right away. I mean, you just basically threw away 100 minerals. But if it comes down to the command center floating over there to try and land, not only does it delay it, but it also tells you when exactly your opponent is ex expanding, which is something that did play a huge role uh, in one of the games where he attacked right when his opponent was expanding. So that's why he's going to be putting that down. Down, and he is uh, slightly surprising to me going for that robotics bay already. Uh, he, he's had a certain level of like non-success with this, but uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Colossus are still good in this matchup, so it, it seems to be what he's comfortable with, and he also has four sentries now with a lot of energy ready to block that ramp. Yeah, we're going to see that uh, go down. We get a come on. I'm not really even sure what that was all about, but uh, there, there it is. So Observer's going to go over, sees the barracks heavy, production of Empire Cause. He does have the starport and the factory underway with the reactor on there. Of course, that will get out the initial medevacs and then follow up with the Vikings. And uh, then moving uh, moving on over to the back, look at Hasuobs. And uh, again, going with that light gateway army, trying to keep a, spa, a close eye on that middle and then starting work on those Colossus. So again, I mean, we're almost 10 minutes into this game. No real major action. I mean, really all we've seen is a couple scouting workers getting taken out. Uh, the Observer is, it looks like if Empire Kaz decides to move out, will be able to spot the fact that, uh, well, there's quite a heavy Marine Marauder army in the center of the map. And uh, that's going to basically cue Hasuobs to start making units. Now, right now, the supply counts are 72 to 94. And considering there's a Colossus mixed in with that army, I, I think that Hasuobs may have a difficult time uh, dealing with a this army in a direct confrontation, which is exactly why he has those those sentries there. Four sentries is pretty heavy against a Terran this early in the game, and this pylon is going to get taken out, which will most likely tell Hasuab, well, it looks like the Terran player is most likely expanding right now. Yeah, he's going to get a good idea. Plus, he's got the Observer heading over. He sees the Command Center being built on the low ground. few Stalkers out to just try to keep the vision away from the Terran at the towers. And uh, if you note here, inside the Protoss base, uh, we actually have four additional gateways go up to make uh, seven total here. Uh, and finally that forge being dropped as well. So those gateways just finishing up and opening up and just in time because it looks like Empire Cause wants to move forward just a little bit. It's going to check on this third. Notes that it is not there. Will he decide to push it off? I don't know. This Doesn't probe like tries to engage the entire army. That is not going to work. But uh, yeah, it is interesting. It seemed like Hasuobs had a probe there to go ahead and expand, but instead decided just to throw down a bunch of gateways. He has one more gateway that he can warp, morph into that warp gate. And we'll see if he goes for a two-base timing window here, which I think could really pay off for him just because he has so many gateway units. He's working on his attack upgrade right now. And just taking a look at the Terran player, already does have that plus one attack. However, he is not, Empire Cast is not going for double upgrades right now. So he's not going to be too far behind once he decides to push out. But uh, since he has so many gateways, this tells me he's most likely going to do a two, a two base timing here against Kaz. Yeah, he put down uh, all those gateways in preparation for something that might come. And now if he can especially get a forward pylon down in good positioning, uh, this could be a nice little attack here. A lot of Marines uh, in this, you know, uh, I mean, when you think about some of the previous uh, armies that we've seen from Kaz, we've seen a lot more Marauders, but this time the Marines are very heavy, of course, versus the Colossus. That can be a little scary. They do have plus one weapon right now with plus one armor on the way. And the Protoss now moving forward with the Stalkers. Uh, we do have the pylon out, at least a forward pylon on the Hasu Ob's uh, side of the base, uh, side of the map with three Colossus out now. Um, I, I still feel like he needs a few more units to engage, but with all those sentries, you know, force fields could uh, easily, easily deteriorate this Empire Cause army. 
Yeah, and Hasuob needs to make sure to keep his stalkers alive in this situation because Hasuob's has been able to make a lot of sentries during this, which is a lot of gas, and he is continuing Colossus production. You can see he does have three on the field with that plus one attack. Just going to be finishing immediately queues up the plus one armor, so he needs those stalkers alive because he doesn't have enough gas to reproduce them, although right now he does have a surprising amount of gas. Forge fields are going to be trapping about a third of this army. Good control by Kazuo, able to back that up. However, the Viking overextended just a little bit, getting focused down quickly by the stalkers. So few Vikings remain during this, although it looks like the Vikings will be able to do a lot of damage to these Colossus. I'm keeping an eye on the units lost tab, a fairly even exchange there, um, although now a slight advantage to the Terran player. The problem though, we in a battle like that, is that if the Protoss loses the Colossus, those take much longer to rebuild than, say, Vikings, although there is three Vikings in the center of the map. They look like they will all get taken out here. That is a big deal. Perfect focus Ooh. firing there, not allowing a single one to get away. Yeah, that was uh, not not so hot there for Empire Cause. He's going to have a few more Vikings meet up in the center, but, uh, you know, at this point, he could pretty much stop uh, making Colossi. Of course, he's not. Um, he's going to continue going with what he's got. He threw down this third base as well. Um, and, you know, the only problem that I see with some of those battles in that last one is that you've got this good, healthy amount of Zealots, and they do a lot of damage versus those, uh, those units that you cut off with the force fields, but then the force fields pretty much make them worthless as they just die. Now, they do take the fired, uh, the focused attention away from those units, and that's damage that could be going on to other uh, units as well. But, um, you know, I think like as StarCraft begins to evolve, we're going to see the Protoss figure out ways to even go beyond that, whether that be, you know, putting little gaps in their force fields or uh, putting the Zealots on the outside so that they can easily maneuver around those force fields. But uh, something that a Protoss always has to deal with. Your know, force fields can go both ways. They are they can be bittersweet. And uh, right now, Hasrobs is in a bit of an uncomfortable position because his expansion time and timing was so much later than his opponents that he was really hoping to cause more damage than he did with mm -hmm. that two base attack. And I mean, yeah, the units lost may be similar, but you can look at the supplies now. And since the Terran player had his expansion so much earlier, he now has about a 30 supply advantage in his army. And while there is Size Storm, Zealot Legs, and any Mortal on the way, those are all very costly units that he may not get out in time to save this third base, which will go down right right now and this game I think is quickly swinging into Empire Cause's favor. Hasuobs has a little too much tech on the way all at once. Don't know if he has an army to hold this off and I mean you can see Empire Cause marched in there took out an expansion. When Hasuobs tried to do that he lost his entire army. Yeah with the amount of Vikings that uh, he has as well that one Colossus is not going to be living very long. I like the addition of the mortals in here. We do have several high Templar as well, but Storm not quite done, and he does not want to engage until that Storm is ready to uh, uh, lock and load here. And uh, it will be very, very soon. And he's just basically waiting for that and any more units that he can get in. Right now, a huge, huge supply advantage for Cause, and he might just move forward here and force an attack. The plus two attack just finished seconds ago, so Kaz may have been waiting for that to engage. Now the Terran player is maxed out. There's going to be a massive drop. It looks like every single medevac is now full of units. Right, there we go. The last medevac just now filling up, and this could completely force the Protoss player in a position he doesn't want to be in. You can see Empire Kaz is gearing up for a two-pronged attack, and there is no stalkers here to take care of this at all. And this could be very difficult for uh, Hasu to deal with right now. Oh yeah, and here we go. We got storms going down from the back. Is Oh wow. Feedback on a bunch of those, and he will manage to go ahead and save those without any medevacs going down. He is going to be attacking the natural, though, as we see that Nexus going down rather quickly. The Colossus will just get there in time. He's going to try to step forward, take that out, work on these pylons as he escapes with what units that he can. He's going to change his mind, moves forward. He doesn't even need the Vikings. He snipes them off, and now those Vikings can be used in other areas as well. You could see now that Kaz just has a definitive advantage advantage here by looking at the map we see that there's no nexus at the natural or the vikings trying to move away but again we do see quite a few units here for Hasuab. so did kaz give up too much in that battle his reinforcements do look pretty good but he's got to be careful here 
Kaz playing this out absolutely perfectly. You can see he set up all those defenses here. And this is all Hasu Ops has, man. He has to run his zealots in there, but he's not really going to win this battle. He knows that, so he's going to back out. It is now 153 to 189 supply, which is a huge deal because the Terran player is going to be maxed out going against someone who's nowhere near maxed out. And right now it does look like a double expo from our Protoss. So Hasu Ops has one of two choices. Try and do it all in with every unit he has to try and end the game right there or take a major risk and do a double expo. Both are extremely risky, but I mean, really, what are you supposed to do against a Terran player who has the entire map? They have upgrade advantages and they have an economic advantage. So I, I, if he's able to sit on these for the next five or six minutes, he may be able to get himself back in this game. But right now it is not looking good simply because of the upgrades. A lot of Vikings up here that are just flying over these high Templar. They're going to land and have fun killing off all of these probes. Oh yeah, this is not good at all. We have units being warped in. They're immediately targeted. We have stalkers blinking over to try to help save this expansion. Probes are going down. Units are going down everywhere. And this is actually quite good for Kaz. He's going to do some damage. He also frees up the supply that the Vikings were currently taking. And at the state in which Hasuobs is in, don't expect Colossus to be coming out of there anytime soon. He's really got to spend the very few minerals that he has wisely. And here comes an attacking force that is spotted by an observer here. Empire Cause moving forward, does manage to land an EMP, a minor one though, as uh, still, oh my God, but that one huge, as he takes out a ton of shield, a ton of energy from the Templar, and maybe this time he'll just have far too much. Empire Cos really finding his stride here once again, just going for Marines and Marauders, and also the EMP was hitting every single High Templar there. I believe there's about eight High Templar that just ate that EMP, and that is not something you want to be uh, dining on if you are a High Templar. And, I mean, you can see the storms could have been much more, I mean, they could have been very useful in this battle. There's going to be the GG, so it is now going to be 3-2 into Empire Cause's favor. Again, this is a best of seven, so now that means we're either going to see one last game, or we are going to see two more, but that is it. Uh, so, we, it's getting down to the wire here, especially for Hasu Obs. I mean, it's still down to the wire, really, for Empire Cause, because if he messes up one time in the next game, all of a sudden, you're on game number seven, uh, tied up against your opponent, and both players have proven that they can take games off of each other. So what a legendary, uh, so far, sequence of games we've seen here, Wheat, uh, between these two players. I really don't know what to expect uh, moving forward here into the next game. I, I don't know either. I mean, Kaz has some really, really solid bio-heavy uh, strategies and timings that he has been sort of dishing out versus Maus Hasuobs this entire uh, series. And, you know, it's, uh, I mean, Hasselob's found some cracks in the armor. He did so by winning two games. Some of those having to do with the way that he uh, worked the maps a little bit. But this next map, Metalopolis, is kind of that even playing field across the board. As, as every single StarCraft II pro out there has probably played Metalopolis more times than they even care to admit. And um, while there are still some racial utilities that, that are, are utilized by both uh, races on this map, a lot of people say that Metalopolis is sort of like, you know, the map where all great duels are decided. And uh, it's just, it's kind of interesting that this will be the map that comes up here in game number six because Hasuobs has, uh, you know, every every single uh, right and ability to be able to win this one. Cause he could end it right here and it's all going to come down to this one game on Metalopolis. Yeah, and uh, it is important to mention that map like you did, We just because millions of games have been played on this map, so neither player is most likely going to see a build that they haven't seen before. They're not going to uh, they're going to know where all the cheese locations are if you're trying to hide buildings in your opponent's base and things like that. I mean, this, game, this map has been out since the beta, so no matter what time you started playing StarCraft, you have been playing games on the ladder for this map, and a lot of times you'll see major epic games on maps like Taldarim Alter simply because all the players on every server have easy access to this map on the ladder and things like that. So Hasuobs, uh, I mean, after that last game, that had, that wasn't the best game we've seen from him. But at the same time, I feel like Kaz was just out for blood and was playing absolutely perfectly and really doing builds on that map that were perfect. And the thing I, I the the thing that really stood out to me in that was after doing all the harassment and all the damage, he didn't try and end it too abruptly. He just backed up, set up some bunkers, had a huge economic lead, and was like, okay. 
I know this map well enough to know the only way you can get to me is through the center of the map at this one choke. I'm going to turtle here and uh, go ahead, go ahead and run into it and see what happens. So that is was very small or very smart and just, just small things that Kaz did in his build to uh, really just, you know, not make him be, himself be in an uncomfortable position at all. So again, a completely epic series. If you guys are just tuning in, Make sure to watch the replays later. They will be on YouTube.com slash TeamLiquidNet. Um, you can watch all the games there if you missed a single second of the action. But I am kind of uh, having the biggest nerdgasm ever right now, Wheat, as I <laughs> this series has been legendary. It's definitely, it's not the finals, but to me it kind of feels like the finals. Both players showing outstanding play today. Well, I mean, when you've got not only the large amount of cash on the line, 3000 for first place and 15000 for fourth place, but also the ability to get a free pass into the next TSL 4. Now, all four... All top four competitors that are that are still in, you know, uh, Naniwa, Kaz, Hasuavs, and Thorzane, you know, they all deserve to be here. They already have the prestige of playing in TSL 3, but then three of them have the ability to just be brought into the next competition. And that is something that, you know, you're not just, you can't buy with money, right? You have to earn it with your skills. So... This is a big deal with the money with the money on the line it is obviously a big deal but with that extra seed that makes you not have to go through all of those very stressful and and stamina inducing qualifying rounds uh, or or maybe you miss an invite um this that is a prize that is almost worth the the, the same amount as the money of course it can't buy you you know, can't pay your rent and well it could <laughs> if you win it again so uh, it, it's a big deal and I'm very very excited right now we are split 50 50 husky I think that just goes to show fans staying uh, loyal and allegiant to their favorite player uh, both of these guys are highly entertaining to watch and uh, you know without further ado I'm ready are you ready to hop into game six and see how the rest of this series is going to play out Absolutely. Remember, guys, this is the very last game, so just make sure to check out me. I'm Husky Starcraft on YouTube, and uh, DJ Wee, you can find him. What is it? Is it one more game TV? Is that correct? So I don't send one everyone. One more game correct. TV. And actually, awesome. this if if Hasuabs wins it, we could have a seventh game. Yes, yes, absolutely. So this could be the last game, but if Hasuobs wins it, which uh, I would love to see a legendary seventh game to end this series. Anyways, that is that, guys. Enough talking. Enough of the technicalities. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game right after this short commercial break.